Amazon's got years of experience ahead of the competition, more services. What do you talk about? What do you point to? It's not about slimming the competition, but what is the diseconomy of scale yeah. to try to match the trajectory of Amazon? Yeah, it's, it's a, a bunch of things. You know, first of all, it's operational performance. You know, a lot of the hardest lessons you learn in operating at scale only happen when you get to that level of scale. And you know, there's some uh, events that we see sometimes elsewhere where we look at that and then we read the postmortem and we say, oh yeah, 2011, I, you know, we remember we, that. We went through that. <laughs> and and, uh, and it's not, I don't wish it on anybody, but uh, when you have a business that's several times larger than the next four providers combined, you're just at a different level of scale and you've learned lessons earlier. I also think that uh, the reason that we continue to have both so much more functionality and innovate at a faster clip and seem to get capabilities that customers want is because we have so many more customers than anybody else. You know, a lot of times, and this has happened all week too, where customers will say to me, I can't believe that you knew that I wanted that. And I always say it's because you told us. <laughs> I mean, it's not like yeah, yeah. we're Nostradamus, you, you've told us that. And so when you have so many more customers, yeah and when they feel free to give you feedback, and when you've built good mechanisms like we have to get that feedback from the field to the product builders, it means there's this real flywheel of getting, you know, getting more customers leads to more feedback, leads to more features, leads to better functionality, where there's a network effect from being on the platform with all those other customers in all those industries. <laughs>